Analysis of Variance Using the Microsoft Excel Analysis Tool Pack A single factor or one-way ANOVA, is a statistical analysis used to test the null hypothesis, that the means of several populations are all equal. This guide teaches you how to perform a one-way ANOVA, with the use of the Excel Analysis Tool Pack. For our specific example, we will use the study hours of various students from grade 10, grade 11, and from grade 12. In this case, here is the null hypothesis, stating that the means of study hours are all equal. While the alternate hypothesis says that at least one of the means is different. To conduct the single factor ANOVA, Make sure the Analysis Tool Pack is activated in your system. To load the Analysis Tool Pack add-in, execute the following steps. On the File tab, click Options. Under the Add-ins menu, look below the Inactive Applications add-ins. Select Analysis Tool Pack and click on the Go button. Then click OK button. When this dialog box appear, make sure to check Analysis Tool Pack tick box and click on OK. Now that the tool pack has been added, you may click on the Data tab menu. Then in the Analysis group found in the far right side of the menu, you can now click on Data Analysis tab. After selecting the Data Analysis tab, the following dialog box below appears. From the choices of different analysis tools, select the ANOVA single factor. Click OK. Let us input the data for study hours of students from grade 10, grade 11, and grade 12. To do this, click in the input range box and select the range of cells from A2 to C8. Next, click the Output Range Option button, then click in the Output Range box, and select cell E1. This provides the location placement of the resulting output. Click OK. Check out the chart output results for the single factor ANOVA. Here, we are provided the mean, and variances, for both variables. Also, there are results for the F value, F critical, and P value. The decision rule is, if F value is greater than F critical, we reject the null hypothesis. Since, 1.749 is less than 3.555, Therefore, we fail to reject the null hypothesis. The means of the populations are equal. The observed difference between the sample means is not convincing enough to say that the means of study hours of students differ. We can conclude that the means of the three populations do not differ significantly. Another method is determining whether the p-value is less than 0.05, which is alpha value. If this is the case, then one must reject the null hypothesis. This is not the case, since 0.202 is greater than 0.05. Therefore, 
we fail to reject the null hypothesis. The means of the three populations are equal. We can also say that the difference between the means are not statistically significant. Let's have another example. In this case, we will use the salaries of people with various degrees, 10 in science, 8 in engineering, and 9 in marketing. Again the null hypothesis here states that all the means of salaries are equal. While the alternate hypothesis says that at least one of the means is different. Now that the tool pack has been added, you may click on the data tab menu. Then in the analysis group found in the far right side of the menu, you can now click on data analysis tab. After selecting the data analysis tab, the following dialog box below appears. From the choices of different analysis tools, select the ANOVA single factor. Click OK. Let's input the data for salaries of people with various degrees. To do this, click in the input range box, and select the range of cells from A2 to C10. Next, click the output range option button, then click in the output range box, and select cell E1. This provides the location placement of the resulting output. Click OK. Check out the chart output results for the single factor ANOVA. Here, we are provided the mean and variances for both variables. Also, there are results for the F value, F critical, and P value. The decision rule is, if F value is greater than F critical, we reject the null hypothesis. Since, 13.600 is greater than 3.467. Therefore, we reject the null hypothesis. We can conclude that the means of the three populations are not equal. At least one of the means of the populations differ significantly. Another method is determining whether the p-value is less than 0.05, which is alpha value. If this is the case, then one must reject the null hypothesis. This is the case, since 0.00016 is less than 0.05. Therefore, we reject the null hypothesis. We can conclude that the means of the two populations are not equal. At least one of the means of the populations differ significantly. However, ANOVA does not tell us where exactly the difference lies. Most statisticians use post hoc analysis like 2KHSD test, or Fisher LSD. While some use multiple t tests to test each pair. Although, most avoid using the multiple t test, since it has higher probability of making at least one type by error with each t test used in the analysis. Here is the result of the test using the 2 KHSD, which means honesty significance difference. The same decision rule applies, when p-value is less than 0.05, the difference between the means is significant. Notice that the difference is significant in the x1-x2 pair, and the x2-x3 pair since both of their p-value are less than 0.05. Take note, 
Other alternative post hoc multiple comparison tests includes Fisher LSD, Chef's test, and Dunnett's test. Here is the result of the multiple independent t test using analysis tool pack. This is the t test decision rule. If p value is less than 0.05, then difference is significant. But using multiple t-test analysis on several populations, increases the probability of making at least one type 1 error, with each t-test used in the analysis. Thus, we need the Bonferroni correction. The Bonferroni correction says, if any of the t-tests in the list has p less than 0.05 divided by the number of t-tests in the list, then the difference is significant. This decision rule applies when p-value is less than 0.05 divided by 3 or 0.0167, the difference is significant. Notice that the difference is significant, in the x1x2 pair, and the x2x3 pair, since both of their p-values are less than 0.0167. Also take note, the Bonferroni correction is best for small number of tests. Since having more tests, would increase the type 2 error rate using the Bonferroni test method. Here is the list of Bonferroni corrected p-values, for multiple t-test analysis, when the original p-value used is equal to 0.05. In summary, we discussed how to use the Excel analysis tool pack to conduct one-way or single-factor ANOVA, two keys HSD, or honesty significance difference, and the Bonferroni multiple t-test.